Hey Xamarin developers, this is Xamarin guys. So 15 tutorial in this tutorial we'll be basically talking about levels, how we arrange them, and I have designed this beautiful UI design. Let us build this type of design in our project. So without wasting time, let's create a new project by going to File, then New, and then Project. Here you will see a lot of options. Now we are going to write code for cross platform. So we are going to make a multi platform app. Let us give a name as play with level and click on OK. Here you can write code for two forms either in PCL as well as shared library. I am using shared library for Xamarin Live Player. You can select anything. I will be working with main project rather than project that are basically targeting Android as well as iOS. Here I will find two files. They are XAML part as well as .cs part. Inside my app page, it's an area where we are evaluating our app to start from the position. Here main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded. Here initialize component means each and every component inside my page will be started during the boot time of my app. Now let's go to our main page. Here the page is of a content page type as we have already discussed about content page which may contain layout as it's the first layer. Inside our layout we can structure our views that is items like buttons, labels, table cells inside it. Now let us give iPhone a padding property inside my content page. The padding property is of type thickness a structure that defines four properties named left, top, right and bottom. You might want to memorize that order because that's the order you will define the properties in the thickness constructor as well as in XAML. Let us create a content page as we have already discussed about content page. I will be placing a layout inside my content page so that I could put views such as images, labels, icons inside my layout this is my relative layout where i will be putting my image as well as labels let's first of all include our image inside our relative layout in order to save my time i'll drag and drop my codes i request you to hard code it this is my set of code for image here i'll be giving name for my image as wallpaper and giving aspect as aspect field and then for that url i'll be taking that randomly generated url from my Google browser, I have to go over there and taking that random URL, we can copy and paste over there. Now it's time to give our image a relative layout, horizontal position as X constant as well as Y constant as well as Y constant as well as height constant so that it can fit along my UI screen. I'll drag and drop my level code over here. Here I'll be defining my level name as about and giving a background color as transparent. I'll be defining my level horizontal alignment as well as vertical alignment as center since it is stretched along horizontal side that's why I'll be giving its width constant as zero. Now it's time to place my one level alongside of another level. This is my second level that I'll be defining as like this. I'll giving a background color as white, text as play again, font size as 20. Here you have to understand that your previously defined element name as well as your newly generated level name that is our element name should be of same name so that they can be aligned along horizontal position then i will give a label a property of x constant y constant as well as y constant that's all for my levels at bottom position now let's create a label that will be visible along my top position as like this i'll provide level background as transparent giving a taste as Welcome to music drive giving font size as 20 and vertical text alignment as center as well as horizontal text alignment as center. I request you to play with those values. Now let's quickly compile our project whether it gives me correct output or not. Let's start our project by clicking on iPhone player as I am using physical device I am reflecting using reflector. Let's see whether it gives me correct output or not. Okay we got our expected output. These are my levels along with images that is aligned at center and this project will be similar for my android project also i'll get same image along with my level at top as well as bottom that's all for now thanks guys thanks for watching